hey guys welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel my name is Denisha Stadin and in today's video I am going to give you college advice um, I will be graduating from college very very soon so I thought why not give y'all some college advice let's get right in to the video tip or advice number one is to make friends but make them wisely surround yourself or choose friends that will support you no matter what even if you're not in the mood to really hold a conversation they should be able to understand that you're probably going through something and you just want to be alone you don't want a friend who is not going to support you at all because they're not going to encourage you to study they're not going to encourage you to do better in life please choose a friend or friends that will support you and don't be afraid don't be afraid to make friends i know sometimes it's scary because you don't know who is going to betray you or talk behind your back but trust me i think everybody needs a friend and i mean need like not that it's gonna die without one but it's always good to have a friend somebody you can talk to somebody you can trust advice or tip number two stay organized please stay organized you are in college you're about to go into the adult world soon after you graduate so you need to learn how to stay organized keep your notes in one specific area if you have a notebook that has sections please please label each section where okay one section might be for math and the next one for biology the next one for chemistry so please label your items and when you're about to study as well keep your environment clean so you can feel motivated to study tip number three make use of your free time you are in college if you come and tell me that you ha don't have free time i'm not going to believe you you have free time even if it's an hour or two in your free time you can get whatever work that you didn't do at home done you can stay ahead of your classes if you do writing you could write in your free time if you like reading you could read in your free time if you do youtube or any other business make your business preparation during your free time tip number four do not please do not choose a class because your friend is going to do this class like don't don't do because sis might be good at math and you might be terrible you're going to be failing math and she's going to be passing and that ain't cool choose subjects that you feel comfortable doing that you know you will do well and if there's such subject that you aren't sure about please go and research ask other past students just don't choose a subject because your friends doing it that's dumb and another thing is do not let the people discourage you into doing a subject if you think you can do it go ahead if you've done your research and you think that you you can do it go ahead because you never know in life that subject that your friend or cousin or whoever told you not to do and you did that subject it could put you ahead in whatever you want to become in life so tip number five find your textbooks online or ask past students or upper year students if they have a pdf format of the textbook because who wants to be spending over a hundred dollars for one textbook and you're only gonna use it for a year or two like tip number six pay attention in class please I know you're in college and the excitement is rushing all over your veins but you need to pay attention because the end goal is to graduate and do well 
and become the best version of yourself you never know when your lecturer is going to say something important and you might be talking with your friend or on your phone doing god knows what <laughs> and she's saying okay a plus a makes 5c and you ain't even here that. like pay attention in class and make notes make physical notes with your hands because those are the notes that you will remember most taking a picture with your phone you can't even remember you took the picture with your phone so when it's home time to study you ain't even gonna look in your photo gallery and say okay now it's time to study so i'm going to study from this mm -mm. plus writing helps you remember much much more better tip number seven join a group this kind of ties in with making friends as well. If you join a group, you're exposed to more people with like interests. So you and that person can have a connection, not only in, for example, dance or poetry. Y'all can have like a friendship growing out of this connection just from being in dance or poetry. And it will help improve your skill or your interest and even give you exposure to different people because i was in a group called the past the performing arts society but i was in the division or section of poetry and we had drama fest it got me some exposure not only because that was like my first ever serious time performing like i did poetry in church as a kid going up it wasn't my own war though but nevertheless it helps to gain give you recognition like somebody can see you dancing or singing or acting and it's like i want this girl on my team i want that boy on my team so definitely join a group tip number eight remember to have fun with this college like this is the time where your parents see you a little bit older. I'm gonna say a little because in the Caribbean, I don't know when they see us as grown adults. But yeah, have fun, you know, surround yourself with great people. Just enjoy the whole college experience. I would say that my best schooling experience was college, honestly, because. I feel like I became who I am now during my college years so definitely have fun not too much fun because remember end goal is to graduate while being a good student and coming out as a better person in general so I just wanted to come on here and say that although you're going to have fun be cautious of what type of fun you are having please protect yourselves emotionally spiritually and your physical body thank you for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed and i hope you got a little insight on how it is to be one of the best kinds of have you ever had a dreams that that you um you had you 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 could you do thank you for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed and i hope and pray that you will use these tips if you are now entering college or if you are returning to college so when you are finished with college that you could just be the best possible version of yourself and the best student as well um i know now it's difficult because some of you guys have to do classes online and being at home means more space or more room for one eternity later for procrastination just please schedule out your time get a timetable know when you are going to class keep
keep all your class supplies in one area so you won't get confused once again thank you for watching today's videos and i'll catch you in my next one have a beautiful day